for you all. I have a really, really good mood this morning. I hope that you are too. I think it's a couple of different things. One is that in terms of my weekday routine, the campus has gone, has fallen into the summer mode. So it's nice and quiet. The parking is grand and everything just feels a little bit more relaxed. I've still been very busy because I'm on a search committee for three new teaching librarians and it's been keeping me very busy, lots to do, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. So, um, yeah, so it's good. I mean, I still feel busy, but it's in a good way. So there's that. And then, um, I've just been enjoying some of the things that have been going on in my life this week. So I'll tell you all about those things. And I've also been, I just, I really feel like the Pentecost novena bore a lot of fruit for me and it's hard to describe because it's not like anything has really happened <laughs> um i think you all probably know what i mean when i say that it's when you are praying about a situation um, in your life it's sometimes very difficult it's not necessarily a black and white type or yes and no type of an issue um, to see an answer and so it's just a lot of other subtleties and that's what's going on with me right now but I really I just feel really hopeful and joyful about the situation and so it's good yeah I just I feel like I really feel like the um, the novena was very fruitful for me. So I'm like on a, a novena high. And so on that note, I've been thinking about our next novena for June. And I mentioned last week that I was, um, in terms of a seasonal novena, I was thinking about the Sacred Heart since that feast is in early June. I believe it's June 6th. And the day or so after that, I didn't hear from any of you about any other ideas. So I assume you're all on board with the Sacred Heart. And um, the day or so after that, I received an email from Pray More Novenas because I'm on their email list. And they announced that their next novena that they're going to be sponsoring, if you will. So therefore, if you sign up, you get all of the prayers right in your email inbox every morning is going to be Sacred Heart. So that just it makes it so much easier when they do it because I don't have to remember to go to a specific web page or print off anything. It's just sitting in my email every morning. So I really like it when I pray along with them. So that just seemed fortuitous. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I hope that you are all going to join in. I'm going to put the link in the show notes. So if you're not already signed up with Pray More Novenas, you can sign up and you can always unsubscribe after a specific novena if you don't want to receive the emails every single month. They don't send out a lot of emails though. It's always just surrounding a specific novena. And like in between novenas, they'll send out one or two messages about we're coming up with our next novena idea, and, you know, and then they'll announce the next novena. And that's pretty much it. So um, I do like it, but you can unsubscribe if you just want specific novenas. So for Sacred Heart, it's going to begin next Wednesday. So let me check my calendar. That will be May 25th. So uh, if you want to pray along, I'm really excited. So I was thinking about this the other day about the Sacred Heart couple other things about that. And I went to look for my beautiful Sacred Heart Chaplet so that I could pray that along with the Novena every day. And I can't find it. You know what happens? My daughter with her hot, sticky little hands is always in the little zip, zippered pouches that I keep my chaplets in in my purse, especially during mass. She paws around in there and she takes them out and lines them up and makes decorative art with them on the pew. And that's fine and that's cute as long as she's quiet. But I'm betting that at some point that Sacred Heart Chaplet got left behind at either, whether it be in our church or somewhere else because it's not in either of those two pouches it's not in my purse separately um and i really don't know where else she they, it would be so i'm thinking that it got left behind and it's one of those things where i feel very chagrined but on the other hand when it's a, a religious item like that i think to myself well maybe somebody found it that really needed it you know so I did say a St. Anthony prayer just in case, but that guy has got to be so sick of me by this point of my life because I lose a lot of things, my friends. And um, so I did pray the St. Anthony prayer, but the checklist has not turned up. 
And so I am in the process of having another one made because I really want one um, to be praying along with this um, early summer. So it's on its way, but I'm, um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the Sacred Heart uh, Novena. So I have a link in the show notes to the Novena uh, on Pray More Novenas. There's also a book I was thinking about. Um, this is the most well-known book on the Sacred Heart Devotion. And I believe it is called The Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's written by a priest. Um, and I can't think of his last name, but I'm going to put a link in the show notes because I know I have that book saved on my Amazon shopping list. And for Kindle, a Kindle download, it's really nice. I think it's under $8, seven something. So it's not bad. And I have heard people raving. In fact, I think, was it the Catholic Mom podcast I was on? Recently, somebody may have mentioned this book. We were talking about books, and I think this was one of the ones. At any rate, it doesn't matter, but um, I have gotten, in this vein, I have received several recommendations for that book, and so I thought to myself, I should really read it. Of course, the problem is that I have so many other books to read, so I don't know how I would necessarily squeeze it in, and I would really want to read it now coming up in a week or so so that it would be during june i don't know guys what do you think should i download wouldn't be anything official it's not like i'd be doing a um a book club installment or anything on it it would just be on you know on my own time but if any of you have read that book or are planning on reading it this summer let me know because that maybe push me over the edge to download it so that's in book news because I'm sure you saw the other day I posted about the new Mother Angelica book and I'm really excited about reading that. I'm reading Church of Spies. Link on that in the show notes since we're going to be talking about the first five chapters coming up on Wednesday the 25th, the first day of the Sacred Heart Novena. Um, I finished that, but I'm waiting to move on to chapter six until we've talked about the first five chapters and then we officially move on together because otherwise I'll forget everything. Um, so so I'm reading that. And so in between, I picked up a quick Amish fiction um, on my Kindle to read to keep me busy. And I'm enjoying that. So I'm reading that right now. That'll definitely keep, I'll be reading that until we review Church of Spies. Oh, I don't know. And then um, a few more of you have voted because I mentioned it the other day in the planned, not scripted summer fiction book club poll, which is open through May to the end of May. Uh, thank you for that. We I see several new votes registered, so that's really very helpful. If you want to vote because you want to read a new fiction beachy read this summer, I have the link in the show notes. Uh, we would love to hear from you what book we should read so we can read it together. So I'm going to be reading whatever it is that we pick. Um, I'm going to be reading that. Right now, the leading book is historical fiction. There's a couple of contemporary fiction on there several historical fiction. So go check it out if you want to see what I'm talking about and let your vote be counted. And so whatever, whatever book is selected, I will be downloading and reading. I have kind of a full queue, don't I? It's always, the struggle is real. Yeah, it's always a problem. So some links on all that stuff in the show notes, but good reading stuff. I've been really into my, um, into my reading. It's been very, it's been very enjoyable lately. So there's that. And then a couple other things going on with me this week. Anne's birthday was yesterday, which I posted about my little sweet pea. She is such a cute kid. And, you know, it is, it's a hard thing. I didn't struggle as much when Henry reached each of these milestones, probably because um, he was, I was younger. He was my first with Anne, it's certainly not out of the realm of possibilities that I would have another baby. It could it could happen, but me being the age that I am now, it's much less likely to happen. And so it's very bittersweet. It's it's very difficult to see these different milestones. And so I was a little emotional yesterday, but we had a wonderful, wonderful day. And so you know, she took some. Uh, goodies to school and was all excited about that and she got the special treatment at pre-k she got to wear a little crown and all the kids colored her little birthday cake pictures and they put it in a book for her which she carried around for the rest of the day and um 
after work, Mike and the kids picked me up. He, my wonderful husband had taken my car for its annual state inspection. Um, he took care of that for me, which was a huge relief and it passed. Thank you, Jesus, because the car is 16 years old. I really do need a new one, but you know, I'm trying to pay off graduate school loans. So the longer I can go without a car payment, the better. So we're hoping that car keeps on trucking for another year or two. So he took it for its appointment and therefore he drove me to work so that he could have the car and take it and it passed. Thank you. So, um, so he took care of that for me. And so at, um, 4:30, he had the kids came and picked me up and we just went right to a restaurant, um, about 20, 25 minutes north of here that Anne really wanted to check out and um, for dinner. Um, and it's a rainforest cafe. So it has all kinds of animatronic jungle animals that come to life sporadically while you're eating. And <laughs> sometimes there's like a storm system that'll roll through um, in the canopy up ahead. And so we walk in and it's immediately terrified by the animatronic alligator that's in the this little pond off to the side. Um, she was scared, but she warmed up. And uh, we had a really, really nice time. And she, Henry took her around to look at all of the different animals. Um, we had a gorilla over by us. And um, he took her to see the tigers and some other things. And um, there was a big fish tank and oh, my kids love fish. So she went and looked at that. We had a really, really nice time. It was fun. And so it was a great day. Yeah, my baby. So we had a nice, a nice time with her and we're having a little family birthday party for her on Saturday. So it's like a whole birthday extravaganza long weekend for Anne. So she's still living the dream. She had the crown back on this morning. We told her she could not wear it to school, <laughs> but she still feels like it's her birthday. So she's a cutie. And so there was that. And then, um, my honey is in his uh, in the throes of his play, so it's two weekends. It runs for two weekends, and um, it was last weekend, and then this coming weekend he's got um, rehearsal tonight. What they call a pickup rehearsal. It's between the show weekends, just so that you don't forget anything in between. And um, then he's got Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday matinee again this weekend. So I went and saw the play on Saturday, and I promised that I would report in. Okay. <laughs> The play, the play is The Rainmaker, and my husband played The Rainmaker, so he had a, a lead role, and Mike is very talented at this, and this is something that's really new. It was only a couple years ago that he was in his first play, and when he told me he wanted to audition for a community theater play, it took me by surprise, because he had never mentioned such a thing before, but he has taken to it like a duck to water. He's really good at it. He's really well regarded and respected within his uh, community theater community and it just it makes me so happy to see him in his element and doing something that he enjoys creatively so i went to the play on saturday and it was smashing seeing my husband up on stage and just portraying the um, you know, more complex leading role that he was uh, playing. It made me realize anew that even after 13 years of being together, counting marriage and dating, I am very much in love with my husband. It, more, more so, double as much as when we got married. You know, and it's funny because I love to men, obviously. But my feelings for him have only grown and deepened through the years and just seeing him, well, I, um, I just, it was, it was wonderful. It was magnificent. I, uh, I just could not wait to, um, to see him after the play <laughs> and take him home with me. He, um, he's, he's just wonderful at it. And I'm just still on a play high, I guess, um, from seeing him. I, I just loved it. And so um, I'm hoping that there's going to be a, um, they usually have a, a party after all of the performances are finished and significant others go along. And so I will be very proud to be his date. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that potentially this week. And they haven't um, had gotten official word about that yet, but it's usually sometime after, shortly after all the performances are done. 
So yeah, I'm just feeling really, really um, in a good mood right now. So things are just this happy. I'm in a happy place. So we have all that. We've got the party. We've got the play this weekend. And then next weekend, Christine is coming. Um, so I'm, I have all of this energy with regard to the situation and I'm reining it in because sometime over the weekend, I am going to unleash the tornado, which will be my cleaning frenzy before <laughs> her and her family come. Our house is not messy, but it's lived in, you know, and we've got kids. So it, I, whenever people come, I, I just get very anxious about making sure everything looks nice. So um, I've got, I've got lots of work to do and I get like, I just burn off thousands of calories racing around the house, um, going to and fro, cleaning things and throwing things in closets and uh, <laughs> um, painting things and doing all sorts of little, um, little nothings around the house that I think make it look better. So I've got that coming up. I'm feeling very excited, but I'm feeling nervous because it's like a really big deal and I want it to go well. This is only the second time that Christina and I will ever have seen each other in person. And we have a very, very strong and deep friendship. So it's a really big deal um, to be able to get together in person. So coming your way. So next Thursday, I'll be in full tornado frenzy mode. I'll give you an update. And um, I'm sure we're going to be um, you know, posting on social media, we'll be recording some things together. It's going to be super fun and we'll take you with us along for the ride. So I hope you're looking forward as much as I am. So in the meantime, if you're going to be praying the Sacred Heart Novena, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on books. <clears throat> Summer fiction over at Plans Not Scripted. And if you're interested in that Sacred Heart book or the Mother Angelica book I mentioned, we can just kind of informally like read along this summer together. If, um, you know, if you want to check in with me at, via email or blog comments, we can talk about our impressions or whatever. Nothing official, just very off the cuff. And um, yeah, and just let me know if you have any other ideas about any of the stuff I talked about today coming up. So I love hearing from you and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.